Hello and welcome. This is Brian from bclarkart.com. Just wanted to stop in for this short video update. Uh, sold one of my recent pieces that I just made and, and, and I was shocked that it sold. But once again, in the world of art, being weird is a good thing. And staying true to who you are as an artist is a good thing. So, you know, it's just staying positive despite the fact that you know, you're going through adversities or you're dealing with people that bring you a lot of trouble. And um, you know, no matter what you do for them, they still bring you trouble. So, And there's troublemakers. There's people who like to see other people suffer. There's people who like to see other people uh, bring trouble people's way. You know, and you have to kind of just, you know, over time as you age, if you're a real sensitive person, most Libras are sensitive, uh, you know, you, you 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 over over time you grow a pretty thick skin, you know, and uh, that's how you deal with those situations. And you have to have thick skin when it comes to art. You have to keep making it even though you know nothing is selling. You have to keep you know balancing between how many hours am I going to spend making the art, then how many hours am I going to spend actually trying to get it to sell and get build a following and everything else uh, with my art. So those are things you have to consider, but definitely, you know, don't give up. Stay true to who you are as an artist. I think that's one of the biggest tips I can give to you guys for today. Just, you know, I don't care how crazy the idea sounds or how weird it is in terms of your paintings. Um, but just like me, I can't, I don't like sitting there doing super realistic paintings. I hate it. I hate it. It's just, it's ter it's just I, I like to make mistakes, and to me, art, there is no mistakes. It's just like, I guess that's the beauty about being an artist. Like, if you have a style that's just different, and it's cool, and people like the colors, and uh, they like this, maybe the story behind the art is interesting. There's a different pe reason why people buy art. Some people may buy art because their kid likes the art. Some people, you know, you may be thinking, oh, it's Halloween. Therefore, I need to make, uh, you know, scary looking paintings. Yeah, but some people may like, you know, cute, scary looking paintings. I don't know. Uh, it just, you know, it may want to include a kitten or something in your painting, but then, you know, maybe have a teddy bear in the background. I don't know. <laughs> but basically, there's no, there's no, there's no clear cut and dry. See, that's the thing is like if you're an artist, you're an entrepreneur, right? So there's no clear cut and dry way of saying, hey, this is going to work. So let me do this. Everybody wants something that's clear cut and dry. All right, one, two, three, boom, money appears. It doesn't work like that. Like it's just different. It's just like you have to kind of just see what works for you and then expand upon that go get prints made of that art piece that sold well you know, limited edition prints hand sign them you know number them do those types of different things to add value to what you do you know i like to include a sketch with my art some of my art pieces that i sell just to add that much more value uh, to people so <clears throat> but thank you for all of you who supported my art and uh I just want to come in for this short video. Uh, stay tuned.